Hey guys, welcome to Theology Trek. And you may be wondering, why theology? Well, theology is something that I love. And theology, in essence, is simply the study of God. And so it's studying God to know more of his character, his nature, knowing more of who he is, how he works. And it's something that I love. And so the idea of Theology Trek the word trek means we're on a journey, and all of us are on a journey uh, to know God, to know him better, to love him more. And so to have this, this journey, um, God has given us what we need. He's revealed himself to us, and he has revealed himself to us first and foremost through the scriptures. Also, God has revealed himself to us through creation. In fact, in the book of Romans, it says that God's character and nature is revealed to us through what has been made so that man is without excuse. But God has spoken to us through his word. And so God's word is the foundation for our theology. If we want to have a sound theology, we need to make sure that our theology is biblical. It's based on, on the Bible. And the cool thing about the Bible is that in addition to it being the Word of God, the Bible is also literature. In the Bible, there's all kinds of literature. There's, there's poetry, there's history, there, there are narratives or stories, there are epistles or letters. And you don't read every type of literature the exact same way. And so to have an understanding of different styles or genre of literature, we need to remember that even as we read God's word. For example, a letter, if it was written to you, of course, most people now don't write letters. They send emails. But if, was, if a letter was written to you, you normally would not start in the middle of the letter. You would start at the beginning of the letter and read the whole way through. It's the same thing when we read the epistles or the letters, the letters that Paul wrote. We should read them, understand it's, it's, it's a whole letter. And not just read a chapter or a verse without reading what comes before it, what comes after it. And so in the midst of the Bible being literature, there, there's adventure, there's drama, there's mystery, there's romance. Uh, it has everything. And, and so to remember as we read God's word, to remember also we're reading just different types of literature. The Bible is a book, but it's a book of books. In fact, 66 books in one book. And in essence, the Bible, first and foremost, it reveals to us God's story. It's the story of creation. It's the story of the fall of man. It's the story of then God sending a redeemer. And it's a story telling us that God wins in the end. And so to have a theology that's truly biblical, we need to recognize that God's word is true. We need to recognize, as the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 3, that all scripture is breathed by God. Let me read it to you. It says, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. All the scripture is breathed by God for the purpose of training us and teaching us, for rebuking us when we need it, correcting us, guiding us, leading us, all of scripture is breathed by God. And so this word is without error because his word, as Jesus spoke, is spirit and it is life and is given to us for the purpose of teaching us and training us and revealing to us who God is. And so to come to God's word understanding that it is true and that it is spirit and that it is life. And the whole reason that we read this written word is to reveal to us the living word who is Christ himself. 
It says in the book of John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And so this written Word that we have reveals to us the living Word, Christ himself, and it gives us then an understanding of what Christ was sent for and who he is, being the Son of God. And so we need to understand also as we come to Scripture, um, Scripture can never mean what it never meant. And that's why context is everything. That's why it's important to read, when you're reading a passage of Scripture, to read what comes before it, what comes out of it. And not just grab a sentence that's out of the sky and not understand the setting of what it means. Even understand each book of the Bible, that book, who is the author of that book, if it's revealed? Who is the author of that book? Who was that book being written to? Who was that letter being written to? What was happening in that day and time? What was happening in that culture? What was happening in that city? What was happening amongst the individuals that it was written to? If we understand who it was written to and what was happening at that time, that can help us understand then how we take that scripture and apply it to us now. We need to remember also that the Bible is not a science textbook. It's not a how-to manual for living your best life now. And it's not an incantation of things we're supposed to chant and repeat so we achieve some level of consciousness. It is his living word. It is breathed by God. In fact, scripture says that this word is living, it's active, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. And so it also means when we come to read God's word, to hear God's word, because of a being alive, we should expect something to happen in our spirit as we read it. We should expect God to reveal himself to us in greater measure, and we should expect to learn something that we did not know before. So that's what it's all about. That's what Theology Trek is about. It's about reading God's word, understanding his word, understanding to a greater sense who he is, and understanding also who we are. So that's the purpose and that's the point of it. I hope you'll continue to join in. I hope, hopefully something will, will spark an interest that you'll dig into God's word more. Hopefully something will spark an interest that you'll pursue him more and more. Hopefully you'll learn something. Hopefully you'll be encouraged. So this is Theology Trek. I'll see you soon.